Titania is one of the best frames you can use for the index. She can do everything on her own, she don't need any help, and does everything super fast. The build I'm gonna show you is a bit on the expensive side, but is also way too overpowered for the normal index, so you can make some cuts here and there. Most important is Fire Rate, Enemy Radar, and either Arcane Energize or Nourish. Alright so for this build you need 2 green shards for higher corrosive stacks. I also have 3 strength shards, but you can use something else if you want. Nourish for more energy, and viral procs. Because her pistols don't have good crit chance, Arcane Avenger is a big damage increase. To activate Avenger, you can use Combat Discipline. With maximum financial stress debuff you have 10 health. With a rank 2 Combat Discipline you lose 4 health per kill. With Titania's passive you regenerate 4 health per second. If you cast an ability, this passive is active for 20 seconds. We now have Enemy Radar by default, but having an additional mod with Enemy Radar does help a lot with finding enemies faster. We need lots of duration for less energy drain and some strength for more damage, and to boost fire rate and speed of the Razor Blitz augment. Energy conversion is perfect here, because you only need the strength buff once, before activating her Razor Wing. After that, the augment will benefit from that strength boost until you deactivate her Razor Wing. Same goes for Moderay Sling Strength. If she is too fast, you can always lower the strength. Primed Flow for more energy and the only defense mod you need is Catalyzing Shields. Arcane Velocity for more fire rate. You can also use Amalgam Furax Body Count for extra fire rate. And Tenacious Bond for more crit damage. Her pistols modded for Corrosive because of the two green shards. Anemic Agility for fire rate crit damage and crit chance, galvanized shot and galvanized diffusion, frostbite for extra status chance, slowing down enemies with cold procs, cold damage is good against their shields, and another status type for galvanized shot. You can use an expel mod in this slot if you want, but the cold proc is really nice to have in higher index rounds. I also use this build for a lot of other contents, so at least for me this is the best middle ground, she can melt through everything, even Archon Hunts are not an issue. With a build like this, you could do Steel Path Index. A few general tips. Start the Index from a Dojo or Relay, if you are solo or host you will always get the good map. Because her strength is to find and reach enemies fast, tap the map key to get the map overlay. If you have Zenith, you can use its Alt Fire, which will highlight nearby enemy heads through walls or if they are invisible. Always keep her first ability active, for total proc immunity. That also means no stagger if you fly against a wall. When fighting high-level enemies, you can tag them first and slow them down with cold procs, to then get headshots more easily. Always try to bank 15 points for maximum efficiency. Enemies will always try to spawn behind the host. In normal missions, Duplex Bond will work while using Razor Wing. Alright, that's about it. I will leave you now with a bit Steel Path Index gameplay, so you can get a feeling of her playstyle. And good luck with your credit farm this weekend.
Thanks. 